Hi guys, welcome to Book of Shayla. Today is my weekly wrap up for the third week of August. I think it's the third week of August. I'll tell you, if I hadn't have gone to a crop yesterday, Saturday, I probably, this would be a really short video. It's still not gonna be a long video, but let me show you what I did this week. Now there is one more layout that I am not showing because it's gonna go up later on. It's for a hop, so uh, one more. Here, um, most of these do not have processed videos because I did them at a crop. This one is uh, my daughter and son and husband eating watermelon. And I just pulled out all the watermelon stuff because I do not have very many pictures of us eating watermelon. And so I just piled as much watermelon stuff as I could on. Um, I have a chipboard piece that I can't remember where it's from. Bramble Fox. That's a swap. These, these two I think are from Pear Tree and this one is a Scrap and Happy Studio. I have some vellum from Hit Kit. I have some stickers for, um, from Close to My Heart. I have a Color Cast Design wood veneer. I have some Nuvo and this was an Echo Park collection. I do want to add some black splatters to this, so it is not completely finished, but it's close. This, oh, and that was used, I used a sketch and scrap sketch. This is a page map sketch and two photos. This is my daughter at a splash park. Oh, that needs, that's not where it's supposed to be. There we go. Um, I used a Bramble Fox stencil, maybe? Can't remember for sure. Um, just some old, that's uh, Freckled Fawn, Simple Stories, I think. I think those are Simple Stories. That's Bramble Fox. That's Bramble Fox, Scrap and Happy Studio. Um, some Nuvo Drops, some really, really old Rub-Ons. Can't remember where this paper came from though. Maybe it was a simple story. I can't remember, but anyway, so that is that one. This one is a, a scrap lift from, I can't remember if it's Scrap Squad or Paper Issues, but it's a scrap lift from May. I took an old close to my heart. Now some of mine, I should have made the paper longer, there, the tears longer, but I was using scraps and I didn't have a whole lot left. I also used a, uh, I think it's a simple story sketch or stencil. And I just went in and got a whole bunch of color to kind of match with this. This is a pear tree cut file that says, here comes the sun. That's what my daughter is singing in this is here comes the sun. I inked it with some close to my heart inks. I have some scrap and happy studio flare. I have some yes, please paper craft flare, some bramble fox. This, the, this, 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 and this are all a part of a Close to My Heart collection that I'm pretty sure is a Pear Tree Cut file. But anyway, so, and then these jewels are just some that I had in my stash. This is my mom and my daughter. They had to fly together and uh, I used a all, all, A-A-L-L stencil simple stories maybe I can't remember the paper the collection that I used and it says on our way finally there's a whole big story to it but this is um, color cast design that I'm not sure that might be a Shadney and then scrap and happy studio and yeah it is a simple stories collection that I used this is a scrap squad scrap lift and this is using a 49 and market collection the charcoal and i this is for 31 days of cut file um it was day 17 this documented i inked it and then i did the packaging technique behind my photo um all these are rub-ons or acetate and some scrap and happy studio flare that's my son moving out for the last time This was also a 31 days of cut file 
from the 15th and I uh, sprayed it and then used stickles on it to give it a glittery effect. This is my grandma's 90th birthday. Um, I used some 49 and Market and some Close to My Heart. I don't love this, but it's done. And I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm fine with it. It's just not one of my favorites. I also pulled some old gems out. Anyway. Oh, and it was a sketch from Sketches in Time. This was also a sketch from Sketches in Time. And uh, it was also for 31 Days of Cut Files. That was day 13. And I sprayed it with a distre Distress Mica Stain. And I used 49 and Market Plum Grove for all of it. And this is me. I got my hair cut and dyed. Um, it was my daughter's senior year and I just kind of put that I was ready for a new chapter and that's what my haircut kind of symbolized. This was for um, Sunday's scrap lift crafternoon and we scrap lifted Kristen and I this does have a process video. It's um, some Vicky Booten Bold and Bright, and then I used a die cut and cut some dies out of it. And this is my son. He got in the top three of an essay contest. And I'm gonna journal over here. I just haven't done that yet. This was for Iron Crafters Challenge to use frames. I used these geotag frames from 49 and Market Everywhere collection. And these are just some random pictures on my bus tour in New York City. This one also had a process video. It was the Mix It Up Monday. And sorry about that, guys. I got interrupted in the middle of the video. So back to my last few pages. This one was for Mix It Up Monday. This was the sketch we used. I used the bubble wrap technique and some stamping using, I think, can't remember if it's a Distress Mica or Lindy's, but anyway, um, this is a hot off the press paper tool, some 49 and Market tickets, which some Brad's, um, another paper tool and a Vicky Booten stamp and die cut set. And this is my daughter singing in her choir when she was back in like sixth grade, I think. But there is a process video for this one. And my last layout I did, this was for 31 days of cut files, day 12. Yeah, day 12. This was the cut file. I backed it, I colored it with some um, close to my heart shimmer spray, shimmer pen. Um, these are pictures of me and my husband and my husband and the kids in front of the Statue of Liberty. This is a, I think it's an Echo Park Go Seek Explorer, I think is what it's called, paper. Um, this was just a, a tag that I had. These were, this was a Little Birdies maybe sticker and some ribbon that I had. Oh, and then a sticker that I had just random so oh and this was color cast design acrylic so those were all my pages now i um did get a few things in the mail this week one i have a gigantic my little scrapbook store haul but that's going to get its own video because it's a lot it's a lot guys I'm not gonna lie to you but i also got my color cast design subscription for the month I only got my subscription. I didn't get any add-ons. Look at me go. We have You Are Amazing, You Are Special, You Are Awesome, You Are My Everything, You Are Loved, You Are Enough, This View is Amazing, So Fun, So Happy Together, Always Stay Curious, Yes, captured, dream big, and beautiful. So that was my subs wood veneer subscription for color cast designs. Like I said, I was a good girl and only got my subscription. The other thing I got was from Spectrum Arts Creations. I got a stamp from All. 
it's uh, there. That's it's actually for grungy stamps. I got some scissors because my scissors that are like this, I've used to cut adhesive uh, sticky things too often. So I got some new ones. And then I got these Simple Stories, Simple Vintage Linen Market Rub-Ons. I have some more of this collection, but the rub-ons were sold out when I tried to get them. And that's what they look like. So the only other thing for me to talk about, I don't have the book in front of me because I listened to it on Audible, but I did finish Finley Donovan is Killing It, gave it four stars. It's really funny, really cute. Can't wait to read the second in the series. And that's it. So those are all the pages I did, the products I brought in, and the book that I finished. Thank you for joining me. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe button down below, and I'll see you next week. Bye.